Mr. Nagley from Martinsburg, West Virginia. What'd you eat? That was all really good. Uh, the mac and cheese was it was very good. This was uh, nice and tender, had a good flavor to it. The taco was uh, had the guacamole mixed in. That made it pretty cool. And the potatoes and that was really good. But like I heard them say, it didn't taste a whole lot of the ramps. Yeah. Up to you, Bev. So the, my favorite was probably that the cake. The cake. <clears throat> Takes the fish. It had a pretty good flavor. What kind of fish was it? Right. Uh, carp. Yep. They're all carp. They're all carp. <laughs> They're all carp. Uh, the soup, I couldn't really taste any fish or know that there was any fish, really. Um, but that was my favorite. Okay. I'd have to agree that this one has the best flavor. But I really kind of like the macaroni. I know. <laughs> um, this one was a little bit spicy, and this one was a little bit spicy. Um, this one, as you can see, is kind of covered in the guacamole. I've got so much of it. Um, okay. Pass it on. Pass it on. You got to pass. All right, that's number one. The fish was lightly seasoned. It's pretty good. And the macaroni and the bacon and some other stuff in here is pretty good. This one is good, but uh, I thought it was uh, a little crunchy, a little cr too crisp. The rice is good. This is like a chowder. Uh, I kind of like that because it's all mixed in and had different stuff in there and had a kind of chowder type thing mixed. This one is a taco type thing and uh, to me it got lost in the guacamole. Uh, guacamole kind of overpowered everything. And this one was uh, more or less the fish by itself and a little extra stuff on it. And uh, a little bland, but a little bit bland, so it was fair, fair. And this was a kind of a soup type deal, and I kind of liked it. I gave it pretty good marks. Okay. Thank you all. Five and six were really, really bony and difficult to eat. Some of them were good flavor, great presentation, so... I love them. Looked real good. I like number two and number six. My six didn't have any bones. <laughs> but number seven was bony. And that one was uh, had a good taste. And that one was kind of bony. But I love them pretty, was pretty well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Luckily, I got somebody that was like, oh, let me see what I can do. Hey, Shucks. Just one. What size was it? Uh, about 19 pounds. How are you? Want a taste? Sure, I'll take a taste. Wait. You'd like it on a bun, sir? Nope. Just the brisket. Just the brisket. I want it on a bun, sir. Just the brisket, sorry. What'd you say? We're blessed. Yeah. <laughs>
Okay, um, let's group a chicken. I thought we had a pretty nice batch of entries. Uh, number one, a little light in color, but I love the flavor. It was a vinegar flavor. Um, one, two, and three were all a little on the dry side. Number three had nice crispy skin, um, but again, a little dry. Uh, number four was actually my favorite. It had a nice smoky flavor, moist sample of meat. Five, I wanted to like that when it was, it was very hot on the back end. Uh, I did mark it down a little bit for that, not bad. But overall, pretty good, pretty good classic chicken. Rick, what, Rick will talk. I agree. I think all the entries were very good. One is, is different than the flavor, and I enjoyed that. Uh, probably most of all, I like number six. I thought the flavor was good. It was cooked really well, nice and moist. Uh, it wasn't a really good pepper. It was heavy. 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 It was Probably my favorite was one and two. Um, the one is a baby back, and it was tasty. Um, number three was probably in my least favorite. It was overcooked. It was burnt, actually. And we'll pass on to... <laughs> I agree with Sue. Um, my favorite... My favorite was number two. It was a great bite through, good flavor. Number three, um, I gave it a good appearance score because it was different, but the taste and tenderness, it was too overdone and it was burnt. Um, the bottom four, five, and six were a little bit tough flavor was okay but they were just too tough and that's my opinion yeah I uh, I like number one also it was a good bite through good tenderness number three I didn't really much care for uh, overcooked and it had an off flavor to me and the rest were all a uh, little bit overcooked but good flavor same as the everyone else I thought first was a my piece was a little bit overcooked and salty. I like the second entry the best. Uh, the third is probably the worst I've tasted in ever. Uh, number five I thought was pretty good. Mine was cooked well. Uh, number six it was a little bit too sweet for me. Number one was pretty good. Taste was excellent. Uh, it's pretty tender. Number two I thought was the best. Number three uh, haven't really figured out what that is yet. Uh, number four and five were, were fairly decent, a little bit tough. And uh, number six was uh, okay. Uh, I'm not going to be too far off from what everybody else was saying. Uh, one one was, was pretty good rib. Um, looked a little different in the box with some whatever that the sauce was on it. I don't know. Number two uh, was the best for me as well. Scored that very high all across the board. Number three, I don't think I can say anything that anybody else hadn't already said. You know, just awful. Um, number five was a pretty good rib and good flavor, nice tenderness. Uh, six, uh, my, the rib I had for six, uh, it tasted pretty good, but it was a little tough. And uh, uh, number six uh, was a good rib, um, but again, a little bit tough. I would say my least favorite entry is number two. Uh, it was undercooked, and it looks like they tried to hurry up and they'll probably catch up, and they might have burned it a little bit. Um, my favorite rib was number five. Uh, the other four were pretty much the same, equal. I disliked entry number two. I don't like liquid smoke smell and taste and it was underdone. I liked three and five. I liked the flavor of the sauce on five. It just was a tad overdone. Thank you, or tad burnt. Thank you. 
Uh, my favorite was number five. It had a unique sauce on it. I think it had some blackberry in it. It was very good. Uh, number two was the obvious worst one. Is undercooked. Terrible flavor profile. It was an unfortunate entry. Number one and number five were my uh, favorites. <clears throat> the number five had a very good flavor to it. And then, like he said before, number two was an unfortunate injury. I'm going to agree with the other judges, uh, but I did like one and three also, and five did shine in the box, look beautiful presentation. My number two was raw and uh, should not even been put in the box, so the cook should at least tasted his product before he submitted it to the judges. Judging today for the pork, the first three that I got, I was a little not happy with, and I was scared about how the whole six would go. The first one was really mushy, really overcooked. Um, second one, more of the dry, um, and the third one was more of a taste issue that I had. It just wasn't that flavor profile I was looking for. Now the next three really brought it up. I really enjoyed uh, number four. It had a good texture, good flavor, uh, as, as did the next two. My favorite of the group is number six. That was just my personal favorite. Hi. Uh, in terms of appearance, I think that uh, number one uh, did look a little uh, mushy, especially in the pull. Uh, but the rest of them certainly looked appetizing uh, when we when we first received them. Um, I think my least favorite of the field was number three. Uh, it was a bit dry, a bit tough, uh, and also there was a flavor. I couldn't quite identify the flavor, but it was a little off-putting to me. Uh, in terms of the best entries, I certainly think that it was a it was a tie between numbers four and five. They both had a, a lot of flavor. Certainly, uh, you could taste a lot of the pork, but still they had a little bit of seasoning, a little bit of uh, a sweetness to them, uh, and they were both very tender. Hello. So overall, I agree with the gentleman. Um, the first three were very, well, the, uh, number one and number two were very dry and overcooked. Number three, I just bit into a huge chunk of fat. The appearance of number four was absolutely beautiful in the box. But I found it a little um, tough. And uh, with number five, I thought that had the best flavor. But number six was definitely the winner uh, on tenderness. I would have to say that my absolute least favorite was number two. It was very dry, didn't have much flavor to it whatsoever. Um, four, five, and six were a lot better, and by far my favorite was number six. It was very tender and the sauce was a bit sweet. I kind of liked it. On mine, the th first three entries were the worst of the group. They were very dry, no taste, very bland. My favorite was the fifth and sixth entry. However, number four was edible. It was, it was very good, but it didn't rank to the 
quality that number four, I mean five and six did. One was real mushy, didn't have no taste. Two was uh, hard, and three was mushy. Four was had a good taste, and uh, but five had a better taste, and uh, six was um, a little tough. The uh, brisket could have been a little better. We've had much better brisket this year. Uh, one of the entries, uh, number two, was pretty dry and un unedible almost. Couldn't very tough also. Agree with number two was tough. Uh, Burning was unrendered. Fat on number two uh, was unrendered. Uh, there were a couple of great looking boxes made you want to jump in, but unfortunately the taste and tenderness on most of them were not up to par. I uh, agree with the previous judges. Uh, number two had a particularly difficult entry. Um, perhaps it was undercooked. Uh, I felt that uh, number five was a fairly good entry. It was uh, tender, had a good taste to it. Um, overall, a little below some of the other contests I've been to, and um, perhaps you know not the best table for uh, brisket for this contest. A rough day with the brisket. Uh, number two, I agree, was probably the lowest score on the table. Uh, number six uh, probably followed that. Um, uh, it had some good flavors in one and five, I believe it was. Thank you.